I mean, from statistics, their police are are prejudiced. Do you believe that yourself? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Like most of them. So you mentioned that you lived in both Cobb County and DeKalb, right? Yeah, I used to live in DeKalb County. I lived in DeKalb County like my whole life. What are the, some of the differences you have seen, in your opinion, between police and the community? You said DeKalb was more of the hood. Yeah. Um, in Cobb County, well, in Cobb County, the police are, are really just like trying to get you. They just want to get you. I mean, they just want to mess people up. Like, it's just not, I, I don't know. It's just like, it just feels like they're out to get you. You know what I mean? It's like, as soon as they walk over to your window, it's not even what they pulled you over for. They're just looking for stuff. Do you think it's racial or do you think it's everyone? No, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's like appearance. I don't know why, but like my whole life I've just been like grouped into like a more category of people that are, I, I get, I get put a little bit in like the skeptical category of people. So when they see me, they're just immediately like, what's this guy doing? What's going on? Like, I've never been in an encounter with the police and he wasn't, he was just comfortable with me. He was just giving me a ticket. Is it because one would say you favor more of the urban look? Probably. That's probably true. And also, I just, I don't know. It's like, also the personality, the attitude you have towards them, the attitude you have towards, like, authority, people who just, like, want to, like, abuse their power a little bit, and they do have power over you, it's just, like, irritating. So they, they like doing that. They like to see people get irritated. Do you believe there's hope between the community and police? Uh, no. At all? No. Why is that? Because people are who they are and they're not going to change. And, I mean, people, people... It's the people who want to change things are not really bad people in the beginning at all. You know, people who really are want to change to make things better are probably not starting off as horrible people. They might have some problems, but they're trying to fix them. So people are, who are just not really caring and just kind of do them, which is most people, they're not really changing. I mean, nothing's proving that people are changing themselves for the better. It's, it's good to see, like, intelligent people who want to, like, move towards causes that better the whole community, but that's not really the majority of the population at all. Has have you ever been in trouble with the law? Plenty of times. How many times? <laughs> Since I, about halfway through 17, and I will be 22 in literally seven days. Oh my gosh. You've been arrested? <sighs> yeah. Have you been pulled over? I've been arrested, pulled over, stopped walking, but I got away with that one. <laughs> what does stop walking mean? I've been stopped while walking. Just because. <laughs> just because. Sorry, sorry, where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> like, I've been, there's been plenty of times. I was out in Clayton County though, so hey, I'm out of What were you know. arrested for? Let's see, I was arrested for possession of marijuana less than an ounce, Jeez. broken tail lights, <laughs> um, possession of alcohol, being a minor, which was really kind of messed up because the dude, he just saw it in my bag and I tried to play it off. I was like, oh, it's just a drink. He was like, oh, what kind of drink it is? Oh, it's just, just a little Arizona type drink. My friend bought it for me at work. Oh, let me see. Nah, I mean. <laughs> <Not too. laughs> like, yeah, let me see it. So I ended up seeing it and I went to jail that night. <laughs> Do you think that the times that you were arrested and pulled over, it was fair? One time wasn't. Because the cop said I was riding the center lane and no, I wasn't. I know how to drive. I won't ride the center lane. <laughs> Every other time, completely warranted. You think that it's fair to be arrested for marijuana? I don't think so. Mm -mm. I Why? don't. Mainly because of just, I know what it can and what it can't do. I'm, and I know how it turns out, how it turns some people. Because there's not really much crime dealing with marijuana other than distribution and Eating possessing all the food it. McDonald's. Because you don't really hear anybody doing much of anything else about it. <laughs> That's just you it. <laughs> yeah, you go eat out everything else and then you <laughs> sleep out somewhere. That's pretty much all you've done. Nothing wrong with it in my eyes. Hansi, do you see a lot of I police around your neighborhood? Yes. Why? I, I stay in the bluff. 
That's what's the block? Up there. That is like one of it's supposed to be one of the hardest towns in Atlanta, but it's like it's on the west side of town, right by uh, Civic Civic no CNN Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there by CNN Center. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty bad. It's you a say lot crazy. Of a lot of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of violence. Violence. Uh, shooting. It's it's everything out there. It's it's, it's the hood out there. It's not as bad as they make it seem, but it's a lot going on. When you see police strolling through that neighborhood, do you feel safe? <laughs> I go home. I wonder if they feel safe. Honestly, I go home. Reason being is because, honestly, like, the police out there are not like the police in Decatur or North Springs or, you know, in... Yeah, don't go out there. Well, they they're not, the they're not the same. Meaning, like, they're in, on that side of town, they're looking for trouble. They know it's out there. In North Spring, the cater is just like, all right, when you get a call, out there they're just like, all right, well, we're going, we're looking for somebody, and that's why I don't even go. I don't, I go outside, but if I'm not going outside to go in somewhere, I'm not staying outside. So if I see you, I'm murky, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 pretty much. Oh, it's out of ten. Catch up. <laughs> I don't know, people tell me all the time, you know, I tell them stories of times I've been pulled over by the police and they're like, oh, it's because you're white. And I don't, I don't like that. I... People tell you that you've been pulled over by police because you are white? No, and I've been like, go, because I'm white. Like, I tell you, there's been issues and times that I've been pulled over. How, and... how many times have you been pulled over by police? I've been stopped three times. Why? Um... Like speeding and um, traffic issues and marijuana. And you believe that you were let go because you were white? I mean, I don't want to believe it, but that's what people tell me. So when you were pulled over, if we can go back for marijuana, mm -hmm. you were let go? Correct. Correct.